to go every six months and then every year and then everything was okay. They used to tell me, you're okay, you're not eligible to be the porter, you're okay, just don't get in trouble. But now it's everything changed. For the past four years, Minerva Cisneros Garcia has received a stay of approval during routine check-ins with immigration officials. But in May, her request was denied. Minerva was then told to buy a one-way bus ticket back to Mexico. If not, she'd face arrest and deportation. Now the mother of two is seeking sanctuary inside the Congressional United Church of Christ in Greensboro, North Carolina. The reason I'm here is just to protect myself and my kids, and I just want to be safe. I used to work, and I used to be a mother, taking care of my kids and the normal as a mother. I own my house. I used to work and pay taxes. Congressional United is the latest ministry providing sanctuary for undocumented immigrants facing arrest and deportation. Since Trump's victory in November, about 400 churches have declared themselves sanctuaries, bringing the total to more than 800 nationwide. What we see happening is certainly not Christian. I don't really understand how anyone can justify it from a faith perspective to tear families apart when we all talk about family values makes no sense. To remove a loving mother who's paid taxes, there's so many myths out there and then people tend to use their faith or the Bible to back it up, but it just, it couldn't be more clear what we're supposed to do here. Um, in God's eyes, no one is illegal, no one is an alien. The Reverend Julie Peoples is the senior pastor at Congressional United Church of Christ. She's been alarmed at the number of deportation cases for people with no criminal record. That's why she and the church stepped in to help Minerva. Once Minerva made the decision to come into sanctuary, then we really started kicking into high gear. We, we arranged furniture that had already been donated. We had finished putting in a shower that we didn't have, so we wanted to make sure we had a shower. We started lining up volunteers, all the logistical things that we had learned goes into this. ICE has an internal policy of avoiding arrests in sensitive locations, which includes places of worship. However, those who provide sanctuary to people facing deportation risk facing up to five years in prison. Reverend Peoples is not concerned. They are welcome here as long as they choose. We plan to have them here until Minerva can tuck her children into their own beds in their own home. Now Minerva is praying for a miracle one that leads her back to the life she and her sons enjoyed before this ordeal. I miss my friends from school. I wish I could go to the same school I used to go. I would like to go back to my house and sleep in my own bed. Thank you.